Hello from Chidisha.com, this is Mark Chosi. Today I would like to do a review on three coastal Chinese swords. Right now here I have the coastal uh, game sword. And then the second one is the coastal jade lion sword. And the third one is the new one for 2000, 2012, the coastal battle game. Now let me run down all three swords and do a brief introduction to uh, each one for you. The first one is the Coastal Game Sword. The most affordable piece uh, and the price range is about uh, 270 or something like that uh, dollars. And uh, it's made of carbon steel, carbon steel blade. Uh, I think it's 10, 1050 or 1055 carbon steel blade. And um, the sword here weighs two pounds and three ounce. Out of the four, uh, the three swords, this one is the lightest. And also the uh, grip here, it has a uh, rounded guard. And so for most people, when they are not used to handling uh, swords with a, a straight uh, bottom with the guard, this one is the easiest. And uh, it's very easy to turn around and do all the uh, movement like that. And also, uh, the sword comes very sharp. I heard that some people say their um, game sword doesn't arrive sharp at all. It's like very blunt and even non-sharpened. Now look at mine. Take a look. Paper, okay? Normal piece of paper. Extremely sharp. I did not sharpen it. It's like that out of the box. It's very sharp. You see? It's very, very sharp. So, uh, overall, okay, this is a very practical cutter blade. <laughs> it's nice for doing uh, cutting and it's uh, very durable and you feel that the sword is much nicer uh, when you handle it in real person uh, and uh, as compared to the photos online. And if you see my uh, blog post, I had uh, put a, uh, a bunch of nice photos of the sword as well. But then it still did not show you the actual beauty of the sword. So if you handle one, you will see that, wow, the sword is very high quality. And you feel that you're handling a uh, very battle ready weapon. And uh, for me, I think that the weight is kind of uh, more geared to the light side. And also just to test the balance point here. The balance point is about here, about here, yeah, okay, just about that much. So you can see the balance point is very close to the to the uh, grip, and uh, as compared to the uh, other model made by Wad, uh, which is the forge that made this sword for cold steel, but they also uh, manufacture their own sword, and that. The, their um, version of the coastal game sword is actually lighter in weight. And I uh, told by someone uh, that they put more weight for coastal on the handle. But I'm not sure yet, okay, but right now handling it, it makes me feel that the sword is really not that heavy as uh, most people say. So actually for me, I think the sword is okay, but it's uh, geared to the light side. So this is the uh, coastal game sword. It's a very good introduction, uh, introductory blade for anybody who um, have experience in swords and also like to do cutting. So this is great if you want to do cutting and uh, it's a blade that you do, you won't mind to have a bit of scratches because uh, the price is not really expensive as compared to the other two. But then, um, of course, it doesn't feel that high class <laughs> without the Damocles blade. Now let's take a look at the second sword here. The second one here is the most classy and the most uh, impressive looking piece. This is the Coastal Jade Lion Sword, the Yoksi Kim. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have the green, the full, okay, exclude that. <laughs> the full um, green ray skin scabbard and the green cord wrap. 
and also there's a peg that runs down through uh, the middle of the handle through the handle to the uh, through the tang and out the other side just like uh, other uh, pegs in uh, katana and those stores and it's for securing the uh, blade so that even you can unscrew the pommel and everything the handle is not, not going to come off un unless you can punch that peg out so it's a very secure sword anyway so genuine uh, raised skin scabbard and nickel silver fittings lots of uh, engravings and uh, uh, artwork okay pull the sword out and also the scabbard is very uh, secured and snugly fit as well take a look okay it's not dropping okay taking the blade out the blade comes uh, extremely sharp sharp and strong take a look okay see it's very very razor sharp out of the uh, box and uh, the Namaka steel pattern is very subtle you can't even see it like even you look that close it doesn't even seem like it's a Damascus pattern. But now let me show you how to see the pattern easily. First, you need a flashlight. And here we have the Olight uh, baton. Okay, S80. <laughs> With a diffuser. Okay. So, put the flashlight on and turn it on um, low medium mode. Okay, now can you see? Nah, medium. Okay. And the other side. Okay, so here you see the pattern on the blade. It's there and it's very subtle. And I also um, had touch up the blade by using uh, wet sandpaper from uh, 800 to uh, 1000, 2000, 3000 grit and polished the whole blade down to uh, remove some scratches and stuff like that. And then I polished the blade with some uh, compound powder and all that stuff. So it's really uh, buffed it to a nice finish right now but then the downside is that uh, if the blade the damages like the folded steel part is fake then uh, if you polish it down to a mirror finish like that and you do the same test with the flashlight then all the pattern will be gone if the damages pattern is, is fake it will be all gone so proven that Coast is giving you real uh, damages steel folded blade it's a real hand forged high quality and razor sharp edge blade so overall the sword is very nice quality and uh, even though it's, it's weighted at uh, 2 pounds 4 ounce and it's 1 ounce <laughs> heavier than the, uh, the uh, cold steel game but then the blade actually feels more comfortable in hand and uh, you feel more control when using it and uh, yeah it does feel a bit heavier but then you feel more control Okay, so now let's take a look at the balance point. Uh, about here. Okay. That's about uh, four inch something. Okay, so you can see the balance point is more uh, geared toward the tip as compared to the Coast Steel Gim Sword. But then, with all the nice handle and uh, the cord wrap and all that, it feels really good for most uh, sword movement and you feel very controlled. So this this sword is a very fast sword and you feel that it's uh, great for cutting and also doing forms. You feel very good uh, when you do a form of it because the blade is more narrow and it makes you feel very uh, classy and uh, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. And uh, the, as uh, Coastal website said, 
a man game the scholar sword <laughs> it really fits that vibe so this one is a nice sword for a uh, collection and if you like to keep a very nice sword for uh, like treasure of the house this one is really the one you should go with the other one the Kotu Kim sword is for rough use <laughs> you can use that for smashing down uh, bottles and stuff like that the third one I want to introduce is the post deal battle game this is the favorite one uh, out of the three and as you can see okay I know no uh, Ray skin scabber, no cord wrap and all that but then we got hardwood, uh, rosewood, hardwood uh, scabbard, handle, black and iron fittings and it's very nicely done you can see that there is a flower thing here this is actually the peg that runs through the tang to secure the sword so it's actually very nicely done and pulling the sword out it's a damage steel forge, hand forge uh, folded steel blade and it's a real deal folded steel blade as well and if you look at it from close up this one actually shows the damage steel pattern uh, much more and also uh, the blade here is much wider and thicker than the jade lion sword as well now out of the box this is a piece of paper take a look it's razor sharp out of the box see it's very sharp okay so um, now let's take a look at Damascus steel pattern again we uh, take a flashlight Olight S80 with a diffuser now let's put that on medium see that okay so you see the damage steel pattern and uh, it's very visible as well okay so this the uh, blade here is actually a very, very good uh, heavy cutter the weight of the blade is two pound and eight ounce compared to the other two uh, two pound three and four ounce and many people okay, had commented about the uh, very rigid and straight uh, guard design but actually they it handles very well take a look it doesn't even jam into your uh, movement it's very comfortable feeling and for me I like the heavy plate much more because it feels more like a uh, very battle ready sword it's more meant for uh, serious cutting and the other two it feels like uh, okay yeah <laughs> it's, it's light and uh, you feel that you won't be trusting it that much in a very hard uh, cutting session but then this one really gives you the confidence and uh, I tested I stabbed all three swords into the computer case and it's uh, actually very durable so yeah this one looks and feels the strongest and it's also one of my uh, most favorite blade as well so out of the three this one I recommend for the enthusiasts who like to uh, train a lot and like heavy blades just like me I like heavy blades so this is the, the one to go and uh, yeah it doesn't look really fancy from the outside but the inside the inner beauty is much uh, better than the other two so overall okay um, if you just want a sword for normal cutting and uh, introductory stuff okay this one the bad uh, the cold steel game sword is good for you it is not expensive compared to the other two uh, and also it got everything you need and the blade is razor sharp, durable, strong, and the fittings are comfortable to hold. Everything is good. And then if you got some money, <laughs> which uh, the MSRP for the other two is uh, $799, which is expensive, then the Coast Steel Battle Game is great for the uh, strong 
build people. So uh, if you got some muscles and you like to have a very battle-like sword, cold steel battle game. If you are into a very uh, like forms, uh, light cutting, fast cutting, cold steel straight line sword. Okay, this is very nice, and uh, especially for forms, this one feel very very comfortable uh, when you do forms with it, and it makes you feel that you're actually very. Uh, like you are very skillful and talented. It gives you that kind of wisdom vibe. So yeah, the Cold Steel Jade Lion Sword is the one for you. So this is my comparison of the three. Hope you like it. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.